So, dudes, welcome to Operation Haircut. The first siege update that I'm pretty sure doesn't have any huge changes for the defense. In Operation Haircut comes the operator, Captain Haircut, some changes to clubhouse, coastline, and bank, and a lot of changes to attacking operators. Um, is anybody able to open up this hatch? I should yeah, now, now, now go, now go. Yeah, now go. He's he's. Oh. Let's go. Huge play. Nice. Osa is this operation's brand new attacking operator from the land of Coastline Dia, also known in most circles as Croatia. She's a two-speed with Thermite's 556, Jackal's weird-ass looking snail mag PDW, and the Russian Makarov as a sidearm. Osa's claim to fame is a bulletproof deployable shield that she can bring on attack. Although there are some important differences between this and the conventional deployable shield you are probably used to seeing on defense. The most important one, in my opinion, being that she can put it on windows. That's perfect. The shields can attach, as you can see, on any part of a window, at the top, at the bottom, and on either side. Offensively, the gadget can also be used as a makeshift shield and intel gathering tool, but it's not going to protect you from C4s the same way a Monty shield would. She's got either smoke grenades or a claymore. She's probably the most defensively minded attacker we've ever seen added to the game, and I'm okay with it. If you're the resident diffuser planter in your stack, Osa might just be a dream come true for you. Oh, ping. I'm a ping. I'm a ping. Right here. You can swing him. Easy. One out, four nice. nice. Osa gets two of these shields, and they make her into a post-plant powerhouse. She can cover herself yeah. while planting, and give herself or her teammates a free angle to hold with a button press. Yeah. Coastline, Clubhouse, and Bank got some adjustments. I'd say that Coastline got the overwhelming majority of them but there are some pretty sizable changes on the other maps that are worth mentioning. For starters, the VIP and luggage hallways are no longer the death traps they used to be, thanks to a big metal plate put on the wooden bars hanging over the top of the courtyard. Additionally, you might notice that the windows have been changed. All the windows on Coastline are now standard sizes so that you can put barricades on them. I imagine the default strategy for defenders is going to be barricading the luggage and VIP windows. The metal bars by the surface bomb site have also been removed and some of the clutter by beer has been removed. The size of the individual walls and bathroom has also been changed, as you can see here. Reinforcing this wall on the left covers a smaller surface area than it used to. I'm not particularly sure how this is going to affect the C4 and smoke play that's usually common in the bathroom, but I made it work. The black top angle you could create by the kitchen quad wall has been covered up. As you can see, there's a lip on the edge of this side of the building. VIP window has been removed and replaced with a reinforceable wall. Your access to VIP is a lot more difficult to get than it was before. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think there might be some situations where you need to bring a hard breach on coastline. Making VIP more difficult to get, in my opinion, actually makes Penthouse a much more viable site, and we experimented with a hold where we had a mirror set up looking into the bomb sites from VIP. I used alibi prismas on the common pre-fire spots for the theater, and had a crossfire established from VIP for anybody trying to push from the bathroom or Hall of Fame. Throwing? You might have downed him. Let's go! A lot of people like Clubhouse, and it's understandable that talking about changing it would upset people, but I think these changes are good. The bar now has a new rotation point connecting it to the stage. Also, the bomb positions have been moved. This change was obviously done to make bar and stock a more viable bomb site, which it wasn't really at all. Whether or not that's done the trick, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm curious to see what this will look like in competitive siege play. Interestingly, the construction wall is no longer destructible. It's just a regular old wall that's part of the map. That makes sense to me. There was never really a point in not reinforcing this wall and just made it one more thing to think about. More metal bars are gone on bank, most of which you normally would find in the basement by Red and Gold Vault. The biggest change I noticed was the adjustment of the front hatches. In addition to the open area and office hatches, there are two front hatches that commonly get reinforced in high elo, since not reinforcing them just gives the attackers a very quick rotate for a different take. 
Now the elevator hatch has been widened out considerably to be less claustrophobic and give attackers more time to get their bearings as they commit to dropping elevator. Additionally, the front hatch used to be behind the front desk. Now it's out in the main lobby, which can easily be habaned or aced. It'll be a lot more difficult for defenders to keep a hold on these hatches and should make for some interesting fights. There's also an alleyway that gives anyone spawning by the front street of the bank a way to get to the parking on the other side here. Now you don't have to rappel up to the top of the building and run across to get to the other side. And there are also some metal plates on this side of the square skylight, so weirdos actually have to get into the building to have impact on the round. There is a metric boatload of changes for attackers. And I'm not talking like, oh, this operator had this gadget, now they don't have it. Or this gun got different rico- no, like this is- this is wild. As you can see, Fuse can use his cluster charge through reinforced walls. It'll make a very distinct sound cue, and can be shot out though, so it's not like there's no counterplay. But this could be useful for getting rid of utility on sights down through hatches. Naturally, it can be jammed by mute, and also, if the wall is banded or cage shocked, you're out of luck. But Twitch might be able to help you with that, much in the ways that she was useful a long time ago, because her shock drone got some really interesting buffs. Self-explanatory. Also, the electric dart that the drone fires has been replaced with Sam Fisher's laser like the one he has on his cameras. So she can get rid of util from quite far away. And she can be more nimble with the drone, since it is capable of jumping. IQ scanner now also indicates the exact type of gadget she is looking at, so you don't have to squint really hard to see what the outline of the gadget is in your scanner. And you can also use the smart ping to point it out to your teammates. But all of these changes come at a great cost. You're joking. This is a fucking joke, right? No, it's it's not. It's not a fucking joke. Oh, now you make a fun of my accent. It, it's it pretty typical of you fucking blew the English. I was emphasizing that. I resent that. I'm not English. Well, you fucking act like it. What does that even mean? Act like an Englishman. Well, for starters, you can act like an insufferable c. That's a really easy way to do it. In that case, you'd be a brilliant Englishman. And it takes a c to know a c. Speaking of c, the only two cunts that are even gonna be able to use the SMG 11 are gonna be smoking mute. One of them, that crazy bastard's got three Geneva Convention violations just bouncing around in his back pocket. And you don't seem to have a problem with it. You have a good primary. You have a useful gadget. You have frag grenades. You're right. You're right, and they usually get sniped by the German helicopter head. And don't even get me started on that lady with that thing that fires fucking laser beams. The Kenyan block with the fucking discus throwing thing. And then if I deal with all that, I gotta deal with two fucking bloody giant fucking firebombs. Two windows that are bulletproof. And Doctor Who with their fucking bloody electric telephone booth. Do you have any idea how much money we spent for that electric telephone booth? Uh, too fucking much. <laughs> You can finally mix and match Elite Operator Cosmetics with your default cosmetics to get all kinds of wacky combinations. So, yeah. That's- that's kinda it. That's the feature. The rank of Platinum in Rainbow Six Siege has been smushed, and there's also been a Diamond 3 added. I'm sure nobody is gonna use this to gatekeep people or anything like that. That would be ridiculous. Overall, that's pretty much Operation Haircut. If you'd like to see more content from Operation Haircut, Subscribe and give the video a like, share it with your buddies, let them know about all the new stuff. I'll see you guys on Clubhouse, probably, because that's the only map people are going to vote for. Except maybe Coastline. Gunners are still going to play Coastline. Follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Greg Havener. Thanks for watching. Nice, Ooh, good move. Deuces! <laughs>